you're watching PTV channel. I'm your journalist Verenia, and uh, uh, it's so glad to interview with Alfred uh, from Borealis. Uh, nice to meet you. Hello, Verenia. Very nice to meet you also. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, could you please introduce your company for us? Yes, I would be very happy. I work for Borealis, uh, which is a, a very big company in Europe working in polyolefins and also we have a base chemical business where we are uh, dealing with fertilizers and other base chemicals. We are also very proud to have a very important joint venture of ours which is called Barouche in the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi together with our partner Adnok. Yes. So uh, could you please talk about your main products? The main products that we produce is uh, polyethylene and polypropylene. Uh, and we are working very closely together with our customers uh, to promote those products and to find how we can create value through innovation for our customers with polyethylene and polypropylene. All right. So uh, what's your uh, main purpose to come here? The main purpose to come here is because the Turkish market is uh, very interesting. It's a fast-growing market. Uh, Turkey itself is a big country with a large population, uh, but also the uh, it's uh, gaining more and more importance internationally and also export business from here. From here, So for us, it's an important growth market uh, that we want to make sure we are also uh, present here, working closely with our customers to create val value together with them. So how do you feel in these two days about that market? Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's, um, I would say the market is uh, more upbeat than it is in Western Europe. Uh, the people are excited. We had a lot of uh, people coming here to our stand, a lot of visitors and a lot of interest in how can we work closer together. So could you uh, please talk about more about your uh, products and how to do uh, innovation for your customers? Yeah, I, I would love to do that because uh, that's our business at Quarealis. Uh, we, are, we are doing, we call our mission is value creation through innovation. Uh, but what do we mean exactly with that is the question, right? Um, when, uh, when we talk about value creation through innovation, we are thinking about uh, really two big things. One is, how can we increase the productivity of what our customers are doing? So maybe do the same thing, but do it cheaper, yeah? yes. do it at less cost. Uh, the other big thing is, uh, we are focusing on performance and the other challenge is that we are trying to work with our customers to make something possible that wasn't possible before. Let me maybe give a couple of examples about that uh, so that you can understand a little bit better. This uh, simple cap here for a drinking bottle, you know it's a part of a, of a drinking bottle, you can drink out of this and it has a cap. It's molded in one piece with polypropylene and we have modified that material in such a way that it has very good flow and very good mechanical properties. So because of that, that hinge here, you have to be able to open it many times. Maybe you have ketchup bottles at home and you know sometimes those things are breaking off. That's very annoying, right? You don't want that to happen. The material that we design is very strong so that that hinge doesn't break off. It's also very stiff. You can reduce the uh, wall thickness by 10%. That means you're saving material, which is good for the cost, but it's also good for the environment because you're using less material. And we've also modified the material so that it's very easy to injection mold, so the customers can do the molding process very fast, about 10% faster than with conventional materials. So again, it's saving a cost on the customer side, it's increasing performance and it's good for the environment. And that's what we like to do with our customers, that's how we do innovation understand what's their challenge, where they're working on, and where can we help them to be more successful. Uh, on, on this thing, I don't know, maybe um, Karin already explained to you, uh, it's really about this film on the top, yeah, and there it's important that it's easy to peel off. Yeah, those are those peel solutions, and these things, you know, people want to put them direct, people want to put it into the microwave, and uh, then open it up, uh, it needs to open easy, but also this stuff cannot melt. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And for that we design the materials that they have the re right heat resistance, but that they are also stiff enough, but they also want it transparent, right? Yeah. You, want your, you want to see the food yes. that you are going yeah, to eat. Sure. And this is exactly what we work together with the customers. This is called, uh, this solution that we have here is called Steri Peel. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's sterilizable and it's peelable. Yeah? 
and uh, you do you have uh, any um, plan for next year or in the future? So uh, we are actually uh, very active uh, in in Borealis, uh, uh, both in Europe on our Borealis side. Uh, to uh, also invest into the future of our business. Uh, we have just in uh, 2010 started up a very big uh, plant in Sweden uh, where we are producing material for the wire and cable market. Uh, we have also this year completed the construction of a new catalyst plant, uh, which we are just about to commission and start up. And uh, with our joint venture in Abu Dhabi, uh, we are there uh, working on the third phase of the Barouche joint venture, uh, which will add, which will basically double the capacity there to two and two and a, uh, sorry four and a half million tons of polyethylene and polypropylene. So it will be very big. Uh, it's in full swing. There's about 25,000 people working on the construction site, and we are expecting that 2014 everything is on track. We are expecting 2014 that we should start up the plant. And that is very important because from there we are supplying the growth markets uh, of Asia, the Middle East and also here of Turkey and this region. So it's very important that we can meet the demand also uh, for these important regions for us. Okay, I think it will be uh, very successful in the future. Okay, and thank you for being interviewed. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much.